Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another match day vlog. I'm introing this one in the stadium because I've forgotten to do it ahead of the morning. We're 15 minutes from kickoff the City Luton. It's nice and busy in this south stand. The West Upper has a lot of has a lot of people in it as well. Look at it. it's, it's looking nice and full is this place. So that's not too bad. Luton. I'm not sure how many they brought, but it looks about a similar number to what Barnsley brought. Uh, I was here this morning, players and what have you, so they all seem in good spirits. Keen Lewis Potter is buzzing about his England call-up. He had a real spring in his step, a big grin across his face. Uh, Harvey Cartwright's pretty pleased about his call to the under-20s as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll put the things on screen and I will see you at kick-off. Course it. Here we go then, on, underway! Hey! Nine minutes, and it's 1-0 Luton. Poor ball by Alfie Jones, intercepted by one of the Luton players, had a bio played through, Honeyman couldn't keep up with him and he just put it in. And he's taking his sweet time celebrating as well. Luton, yeah, I was just saying that they tend to be very direct, they're very quick. And that is, that is 1-0 already. We're going to let Adjun down on his star show night, and his star show two-pound game again, aren't we? Silly error, and it's a goal. And that is why we've got the worst home record in the division. 1 0 down. Right, straight from kickoff after Luton's goal, Keen Lewis Potter charged forward and won a free kick as he was brought down. Let's see what we can do from this. Is he going to shoot from there? Looks as though he is. Free kick, City's way, Lewis Potter, Lewis Potter brought down again. It's going to be just Honeyman stood over it as Elder has migrated back towards the centre circle. Let's have a look. Ball in. Ooh. Corner for City. Honeyman with the ball in. Clear. Come on. <laughs> Where do Kino? It's half time. I'm not too sure what to make of it, to be honest. I'm not sure whether we've been about a five out of ten or been about a one. It's a difficult game to put a finger on if we've been good or bad or not. Defensively, we're all over the place. They're looking at balls that we're not even there. Well, attack wise we're getting forward but we just can't give we can't give Eves anything more than just a lump it up to him and hope he can bring it down Longman's making runs but we're not seeing them and defensively he's having a mess we're, letting, we're, we're giving Keane some 
some stuff down the left hand side but he's either if he's trying to come back and cut inside but can't he's got nobody to play it off to immediately back and if he whips a ball in Eve just isn't there so it's odd it's, it's odd the first change I'd make is get um, get Ali R on for somebody maybe one of the centre mids move Honeyman in take Doherty off Ali R and then or Elder Elder and then put Ali R and Eve up top together yeah if he brings force on I'm gonna God, if he brings Marcus Forson, I don't even want to contemplate. So <laughs> when I've stopped filming. Second half underway. Free kick for City. Good work down the left by Lewis Potter. Played the ball to Greaves for from centre back and uh, he got brought down. Elder and Honeyman stood over it. Let's see who whips this in. Honeyman does ball in. Alfie Jones! Good start. It's a good start. 2 0 Luton, and it is a more frustrating goal than the first. Ingram played it out to Sean McLaughlin, and he just faffed about with it with two Luton men on him when he needed to just either give it back to Ingram or clear it but he tried to take both he tried to take Adebayo on and he, he lost it gave it away Ingram came out to narrow the angle down Adebayo laid it off to Harry Cornick and that was 2-0 that's the first mis mistake Sean McLaughlin has made all season and it's absolutely embarrassing. It's not, it's not even though he's giving away a penalty. He is, it's, that is an error leading to a goal, by definition. By absolute definition. You're right, we, gave, we gifted them both goals by giving the ball away. And uh, we started well this half. We looked on top. We looked as if you know, we, we could get back into this game, grab a goal. And the player is sent to warm up is Marcus Force. 65th minute, two changes. Syed Maness and Tommy Huddleston on. You can hear the applause that he gets. He gets, um, as his name gets announced. They're on for Smallwood and Doherty. And the first act with those two on the pitch is a free kick. Elder's going to cross it in. Honeyman is the deepest player. Elder ball in. Corner, come on. Oh, for crying out loud. Get a grip. Free kick City's way. Honeyman ball in. Yes! Oh. Luton have just got an absolutely immaculate free kick. And you can't fault it. Huddleston brought, I think, it, I'm not sure who it was, down. Then whoever hit it, I don't know who it was. But what a hit in off the underside of the crossbar. Ingram was beaten. Wow. Wow. They've not battered us by any means, but... That's a stunning goal. And we're faffing about with it at the back again. Yeah, not, not a great one. And we've not shown up on Adjun Showcase evening again. We're terrible at home. Why? How? Marcus Force and Ali Arsai Admanesh both should have scored then. Ball fell to force from across. He took an extra touch when he didn't need to. And it, it got blocked. And then Syed Manesh shot. Lewis Potter wide. Syed Manesh had a go. The keeper pushed it behind for a corner. 81st minute. We've been absolutely terrible. That's the, that's the word of the day. Terrible. 
probably is probably more which are more which are fitting, but that had avoid that had involved bleeping. And I haven't got all night. Corner City's way, 89th minute. Honeyman with a ball in. Lay it off. Hit it! Just making my way out. It's very late, mate, very late. Huddleston played a ball to four, squared it to Weaves who tapped it in. It's a goal at least. But that'll be that. And that's it. Well, well, well then, ladies and gentlemen. Back after the game. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. We gifted them two easy, easy goals. First one, Alfie Jones gave it away. And then the second... Well... Now, the first, Alfie Jones made a, played a really poor pass. The second was just terrible from McLaughlin. So that's... No goals at home in five games. Now, if investment is going to happen in the summer, which we think it is, there needs to be a lot of it. Because we just looked absolutely unable to do anything going forward, really. I mean, the goal well worked. We, uh, well, Huddleston had the ball in a nice area. He just dinked it over to force. Who, if he'd have, if he'd have shot, I had no idea where that had gone. Because um, I've, I've lost all faith in Marcus Force at the minute. But he squared it to Weaves. So, yeah. I'll probably do a video during the international break saying out of this squad who I'd keep, who I'd sell, who I'd loan out, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we've got a couple of weeks, well, a week and a, a, week and a bit to, to reset and to go again. Because God knows we need it. Right. Um... Yeah, so that is uh, that is that. So thank you for watching, everyone. See you later. Take care. Up the Tigers. And hopefully we can turn this home form around soon. See you later. Goodbye.